Hello there. Welcome to this tutorial on Azure Front Door Custom Domains SSL Setup Step by Step with Key Vault Certificates. So before we begin, let me introduce you to the resource group that we have set up already on our subscription on Azure. Uh, this is my profile resource group and if you want to know more about what's the web app that's running on it, how did we make that, how did we implement CICD and then put it behind an AFT how we created AFD in the first place, what are the fundamentals that goes behind it, and then adding a WAF policy to our AFD to protect it against DDoS attacks. What's that? How do we do it? There's a complete playlist on it and all the resources are in the description of this video. And I'm glad that all the videos are well received. So with that off the table, Today we will be focusing on integrating or adding SSL cert to our AFD domain and let's get started. So front door type is the resource with name Aditosh. I'm going to open that up. Here we have like overview which says all about it. We are more interested in settings and right there in domains. So we can add a domain from right here or add it from top. And here we have a set of options like DNS management. Is it going to be uh, Azure managed or all other DNS services? Uh, I'm going to stick with all other DNS services. So when we do other DNS service, it gives us, gives us the space for custom domain where we can type out the domain that we want to hook up the AFD with. And then we have like certificate type as AFD managed or BYOC, bring your own certificate. AFD managed has like its own policies that you cannot modify, but for your own certificate, you can define the rotation policy. And uh, I think that is pretty much the important thing that you would be uh, interested in from the service owner point of view. So that is what I want to do is I want to bring my own certificate as the SSL cert that I want to use for my custom domain so that I can define the certificate rotation policies as per my, my comfort and my security concerns uh, from the service owner point of view. And also if something goes wrong in the SSL cert, like I am the owner, I can look up on the certificate. It's rotation is it enabled what's the status and uh, if it's not working i'll be in the position of power to just change it with other certificate and solve it without any external dependency that gives me a peace of mind and gives me control of my over my certificate rotation and everything as well and gives me like a complete visibility into how the certificates are being managed and everything so I feel a lot more comfortable and that is why I would like to do BYOC. You might not want to do and if you are doing AFD managed, uh, things are pretty straightforward and this tutorial doesn't make sense for uh, you to go f or proceed further. You can just select AFD recommended and AFD will take care of everything. So let's say my custom domain is test com. But the problem here is like when I go to select secret after I select BYOC, I'm not seeing any certificate in the dropdown. How do I populate the certificates, my SSL certificate in the dropdown right here? Let's have a look at that next. So I'm going to get out of add a domain and discard my changes. Uh, I'll go to my resource group actually and I'll open it up in a new tab. So let me do that. So in my resource group, I'm going to go to create. I'm going to create a key vault resource. So in the marketplace, I'll look up for key vault. And the first one is from Microsoft. So I'll just open that up and create it. So this is the basic flyout that we are on. I'm going to put the name of the key vault as my hyphen SSL hyphen kv and leave the region and pricing as the default standards uh, 90 works good everything else as default and next we are on access configuration fly out here i am making a change to vault access policy and right now i am not going to give any access to anyone other than myself 
which is by default so ideally i would be adding the afd access to our vault policy but right now let's keep it simple just switched the checkbox from azure role base to vault policy next is networking no changes not adding any tags uh, running validation so that should be like a few seconds and then we can create our resource once it's reviewed the resource validity so the deployment for our resource is being initialized and it will take a couple of minutes i guess for actually submitting the deployment and getting the resource ready for uh, ready for us to further patch things up into it add cert and permissions and hook it up with our afd so i'm going to skip the deployment in progress part so now that the resource is res ready let's go to the resource and here access control is not going to work we will be working with access policies right here but uh, later we'll circle back let's go to objects and certificates here we'll generate one and let's call it uh, my SSL cert Uh, let's keep it self-signed because this is just for testing purpose. I don't have an actual cert. And then cn equal to test hyphen com. In the actual world, it should not be like self-signed cert, but it should be a certificate signed by an integrated, non-integrated CA, certificate authority. And that will only work uh, as we'll figure out that this may fail and we'll figure out figure that out because SSL certs are never self-signed cert. That doesn't make sense. But from tutorial point of view, this should work uh, just to understand the flow of actually how we are creating certificate and then hooking it up with AFD with proper permission. So we have the entire picture clear. But since I do not have a certificate and a domain re registered for my name, uh, this is not going to work, but a heads up, the CN equal to the subject should be exactly same as the domain name that we are creating. That's how SSL cert works. More on that, uh, we can discuss in comments. Let me know if you want more clarification there, why that that's needed. But yes, the certificate looks good. It has like percentage lifetime of 80%, uh, 80. So that looks good. I'll just go ahead and create this one. So now once that is done, our certificate is created, but it would be initially in the disabled state and will take a few seconds for it to get enabled. Uh, make sure that it gets enabled and if it doesn't, you can just open the certificate. It's current version, just we need to click, uh, click on the current version. I'm just waiting for it to reflect on the status here. It, I'm not sure why it's not, but uh, if it's not, what we can do is we can just open the current version and we can enable it right here if it's disabled for you and validate that the certificate subject name is as we have, we want it to be. So it's enabled, yes, so we are good. And I'll just close it up. Um, maybe a refresh will fix it up on here, but that's no concern. We have validated that the certificate is enabled. So now I'm going to switch back to my first tab where AFD is opened and I'm going to refresh and again add a domain and see if my certificate shows up, the key vault shows up. It doesn't. Well, it needs to be like actually get the access to our KV. So for that, we will go to identity in our AFD under security and make sure that the status is on. If it's off, turn it on. Copy the object ID principle. That's the managed identity service principle. And we'll go to access policies and create on our key vault. Uh, we'll select the permissions that we want to give to the managed identity that we copied. Let's stick with certificate permissions only and remove the delete and uh, uh, delete certificate authorities permission, which are like not really AFD is going to do that, but for our peace of mind, uh, we'll paste it and find the res uh, appropriate corresponding service principle next and review and create so it will take a few seconds to reflect and now that we have the access added uh, we are good here i'll switch back to afd tab 
and here we will go to secrets right below identity and here we are going to add a certificate here we have the kv listed my ssl kv is the one that we are interested in so let's expand it up and select my ssl cert and add the certificate so it's creating the secret and it failed because we didn't give secret permission on our keyword to our managed identity AFD. So let's fix that up. So we are back on our keyword access policies where we are creating a new one and I'm giving all permissions, select all on key permissions, secret permissions and certificate permissions. Uh, I'll paste the MS uh, managed identity and select my key vault, sorry, Azure front door and create. I'll remove the previous one that has certificate permissions only to keep it clean. Now this looks good. Let's go back to our AFD, add certificate and my SSL KV, my SSL certificate, add now I expect it to fail and it did fail because we are using a self-signed certificate for adding it to our AFD as an SSL certificate which just is not going to happen. Now assuming we had a valid certificate on our KV with the CN subject name of uh, the domain name that we are trying to create and it is on the KV, not a self sign but issued by a valid CA. So everything is good. Let's assume that. What do we do next? We add a secret here and it will get added successfully. And then, then the next step is to go back to domains, add a domain, uh, all other DNS service in DNS management and BYOC in certificate type. And then in the custom domains, we put the name of our domain that is whatever we want and then in the secrets our secret will show up just to re-emphasize we are not saying it because the secret we could not add because the certificate that we were using was a self-signed certificate which is not a valid cert for SSL with this now you know how to bring your own certificate to Azure front door and secure your application traffic with SSL if this video saved you some time hit like and share it with someone who's working on a similar setup and don't forget to subscribe, I've got most Azure step-by-step -step guides coming up next.